One, one, and Caleb! Bombs it! And throws a strike! Pumps it up! And the knuckleballs clinch the first seed in the playoffs! Will up as Colin catches it! Flatter is Christ, and it's gone! John breaks the game open, solo home run. I expected to win. I expected to win the whole thing. Um, and I wasn't going to settle for anything less. Okay, Caleb, so you got the full three-man roster today. Kyle's been looking pretty good pitching. Yeah. Um, what went into that decision, you know, deciding to start Will game two? You know, I mean, as captain of the knuckleballs, I really just believe that I want to have the first game in my hands to pitch. I mean, I have full confidence in Kyle and uh, Will, but I'm going to have Will start game two, and Kyle is very good for relief. So yeah. if it goes extras or our arms get burned out, um, I'm totally confident in going with Kyle. Okay, sweet. Let's get to the games, folks. I actually had to take my sweatshirt off for this. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Yeah, so we started off the season playing um, pretty good wiffle ball. Uh, we took the uh, series sweep against the Sweats. And, you know, we really felt confident. Uh, we felt like one of the better teams in this league. We were ready to kind of prove what we had wanted to do. And, you know, we were ready to take this momentum going into the Pioneer Series. I knew the Knuckleballs were a hot team. Just them facing adversity in that opening day, um, just being able to come back was huge for them. Um, yeah, we definitely were feeling pretty pumped after, I mean, it was like my first few games in the league. We were already winning like a lot. Yeah, we definitely were really excited about getting the number one seed and being guaranteed into the World Series. They had a huge advantage just going straight to the World Series, which was definitely something I wanted. And I knew that we were going to have to play a level above what we were in the regular season if we did want to beat them in the World Series because um, they were a very hot team throughout that 2020 season. You know, I was right. It was a it was a battle. Like of the first game was a really to close game. Uh, I think I won that with like a walk off home run off of Jake. But to be honest with you, even though at the end of that whole regular season series, uh, it was only like two games apiece for each of us. Like I felt as though we were the better team, uh, and I wasn't really too nervous because uh, we had the bye and everything. So yeah, we were ready to go going into the playoffs, and we felt really confident that we were going to be the ones walking away with the trophy.
So, you know, we pull up to the field, game one, 2020 World Series. I'm super excited. I'm ready to, to, ready to get this thing going. It was the biggest game that I'd been in. Like, it's just a wiffle ball league, but it felt so much bigger, like during, I remember before that game. What are your thoughts about winning this World Series? Yeah, I mean, the Pioneers are a good team. Honestly, I just think jumping on any good pitches that happen to fall across the plate. What are your thoughts on the World Series? You know, I think Caleb's a really good pitcher. I think the knuckleballs are an all-around really good team. I think I can hang with them. It was a pretty ugly win, I'd say. Uh, all of our runs came on um, on walks. For game one, to lose that six to five um, in just uh, just horrible fashion. Unfortunately, it wasn't recorded for you guys to see, but I just got under the ball and for. Just to have a loss like that to start off the World Series is not something that we wanted. Towards the last inning, I kind of let it get close. I think there were a few home runs uh, there, but we ended up taking that 6-5. I was still feeling super confident. We had took game one. I was ready to come back the next day and hopefully, you know, win at least one, maybe two more games to try to look to close out the series. So I was I was feeling pretty confident after game one. We managed to win 6-5, to five. and after that, I was we were on a definite high, but we had so much momentum after that game that we thought we nothing could stop us pretty much. And it felt great. And then game two, uh, this was, I, I kind of was a little bit too comfortable. I feel like, I mean, the Pioneers are a really good team and I kind of, I kind of let my guard down a little bit. We had, um, I think, I can't remember if there were any home runs, but you know, we, we just didn't come through. The Pioneers were ahead that whole game. They were battling. We were just kind of, you know, chilling out here with the 1-0 lead. I felt like if we maybe started to push a little bit more, um, Maybe we would have done better, but we were just kind of too comfortable, and they took game two. So obviously, game three, series tied 1-1. This is a game I was all in. I all my put all my emotions into this one. Um, I knew this is a game you kind of have to have. You don't want to be going down to your um, final, like you, want, you don't want to be going down to your last life here. And I we started off the game, Jake got a hit, and then Max just hits an absolute nuke. Um, pretty demoralizing to honestly, to start off that game. I wasn't really too nervous, but you know, it was it was a little bit of a blow to start that game for sure. Uh, and then going in, we're finally batting. Um, I believe we get the bases loaded, and then we have like two straight strikeouts, which is pretty hard. And then I get like this little bloop single here to kind of like spark the runs a little bit. And we get a run there, and then Will steps up to the plate with like two outs in the bottom of the first and just comes up clutch with a grand slam. And I, if you, 
like run that tape right there because I was literally out of my mind so excited right there it was really it was really a great moment um we we're up 5-3 I really felt like we had this series in control from literally that point I thought we were gonna win that game and I was just I was super excited and then we go into the next inning give up that home run to Jake I'm not really too uh, nervous about it because we still have the one run lead uh, I felt like maybe we could put up some more runs uh, to get in to, for that last inning but unfortunately we didn't get any runs so it was 5-4 uh, I believe heading into the top, top of the third I don't know how they got on but a few runners get on uh, I think there's one out and Colin steps up to the plate with two runners on runners yeah two runners on and um, he goes yard and yeah, I'm crushed right there um, I feel like I kind of hung a pitch in there. I, I kind of had started developing this new pitch, the drop, um, and I just totally like lollipopped it in there. After that hit, I kind of felt like that as a team, we like kind of rebuilt build our confidence and like we were able to easily shut the series down, um, especially hit, hitting off someone like Hill, who's very talented and very good at pitching. Um, I think just getting that one moment like really um, skyrocketed our confidence. And. Um, I wasn't really happy about that. I felt like I kind of let my team down there, and we we go into the last inning, and unfortunately Kyle, you know, ended up getting doubled up there to end the game. Oh, hit one. Oh. Let's go. We got home field advantage next game too, baby. Let's get it. Pioneers win the game. That moment when I got doubled up was, it really stuck in my memory. Pretty much the low point in that 2020 season for us. It was really frustrating. I went home, I was really upset. Um, I remember laying down on my bed, just like, dude, how did we, how did we let the, those two games get through our fingers? Um, but we let, we let them get through and I, I really beat myself up about that. The next day, so this was it, we knew we had to win uh, if we wanted to stay alive. And it was one of those things where it was kind of over from the start. We never really had the ability to win that game. I think from from, from the beginning, we, we just weren't, we didn't have any fire, we didn't have any fight. We just kind of let the Pioneers just roll in here and just clean it up without really too much competition. Um, because I felt like that series was over and I was spent after the game three, so. Will, up, as Colin catches it. The Pioneers are World Series champions. Not even a contest really, and we were 2020 champs. Um, and I'm still to this day very happy, happy about it. And we just knew that we had to repeat as well. We wanted to make this thing a dynasty. I guess we'll see what happens next season, but we're looking to repeat. Okay. That's, that's the ultimate goal. Like, um, like, yes, we already won once, but we can win again and again and again. We can make a dynasty with this team, get back to a few World Series, and um, yeah, hope we continue this. I, I was, I, I certainly had like a chip on my shoulder, and I felt as though I needed to change the narrative right now because that was not, this is not what my team does. We need to. This can't, this can't be the same story next year. So I was, it was all about kind of when we lost next year. Like next year, that's when we have, we have to win next year. We need a win or bust and there was no in betweens. And we were ready you know, to go on into this off season.
heading in to the 2021 season, during that off season, uh, I felt as though I really needed a number two arm. That was really what I was going for. So I decided to trade Kieran, who I picked up kind of shortly after the 2020 season. And I picked him up and I decided to trade him and our, my second overall pick to the Sweats for their first overall pick so I could guarantee that I would gain Andrew. I was, I was all in on getting Andrew on my team and the trade went through and I got him on my team. And I think that was really the best, the best move for us going into the 2021 season to have a guy like him. Well, I mean, Jordan, I think was a pretty good draft pick considering to be where we were at with our draft pick. Um, I mean, he, I knew he played baseball, but I knew there were some other good picks, um, especially Andrew for Caleb, which they traded up to with the Sweats. And I think that was a really good pick. And Andrew's really developed. He's played baseball, so is Jordan. So I think it's gonna be pretty even. I got John in a trade for the third overall pick, which to this day, I think paid off. I think it was a great pickup by me. And even though he didn't make a big impact in the regular season, he definitely came up big in the postseason for us. And then obviously we had Tegan, who didn't show up a lot last season in um, 2020. Um, due to COVID, he had to quarantine, but he was gonna be back. And I was just excited to you know, get some new faces on this roster. And I felt really good still, even without Max going into 2021. Going into the season, I expected to win. I expected to win the whole thing. Um, and I wasn't gonna settle for anything less. And I was just kind of ready to start putting the pedal to the metal and showing viewers in this league that we were here and we meant business. And we are a relevant team in this league and we are not gonna not be a relevant team again. So I was really looking forward to going to opening day and hopefully starting at our our 2021 run. All right, everyone, now welcome to Series 2 of 2021. We got a great matchup between the 3-0 and Skyliners and the 0-0 zero zero Knuckleballs. Um, this is going to be a great matchup, um, second series of the year, and yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, my team looking to bounce back from a hard loss in the World Series back in 2020. So we got Andrew, a new guy. So let's, uh, let's get to the interviews. And the pitch. He's oh, yeah. gonna crush that one, no. and that one's gone. Caleb Mendler's first homer on the season. Oh, Caleb's God. gonna crush that one, and that one is definitely gone. That's a two-run bomb for Caleb, as they're gonna lead now 16 to nothing. Gavin's gonna line that one out to Kyle, and that's gonna end the game. The Knuckleballs win 16 to one. The first game I didn't pitch well. Um, Caleb hit bombs. Uh, like I had just like two pitches and only one was working at that time. I felt like we really had a great opportunity to show how good of a team we were. And we go up, show out in game one, get a really huge victory, which I was really happy about. Going into game two, I felt really confident in what I saw from Kyle. Um, and I wanted to start him and let him go. Um, I think I let him go a little too long. I feel as though the Skyliners were a really good team at the plate, better than the two cans were in spring training. So unfortunately it didn't really work out for him. We ended up dropping game uh, game two. Kyle pitched, right? And so then, I mean, Kyle probably isn't the best pitcher, at least compared to Caleb, but for us, we could hit off him and we just did the whole game. During the spring training we had this year, the pitching was going pretty well for me. I was getting people out but I guess I just wasn't feeling it this time because if you guys have seen the video, it didn't go perfect. And the pitch. Oh yeah! Kyle takes one. He's gonna step on second and the Skyliners win game two. We'll go to a rubber match in game three. But you know, it was all good. Like it was still the regular season, first series. Like we had room to grow and I feel like it's better to make the mistake now than in the postseason. So. I was happy for Kyle to put himself out there, and I was um, ready for game three. And the pitch. 
pitch from Gavin. Caleb's gonna crush that one. Almost goes over the neighbor's yard, but it definitely goes over the fence. And the pitch. Kyle's gonna ground that one along the first base line. Max is not gonna be able to make the play. Caleb's coming home too, and he's gonna score. The pitch from Max. Kyle pops that one up, and that one's gone. The wind up and the pitch. Max goes swinging on a ball way inside. The knuckleballs win the series and are two and one on the season. Yeah, so that series overall was just pretty much a blast and um, a great start to our season. It's a pretty easy win for us. I decided to go on the mound, just kind of ride it through, make sure we secured the series. And pretty, not too bad of a win. Um, shout out to the Skyliners playing a great series. It was, it was a fun time. Um, really optimistic going forward, two and one start, ready to play the two cannons. So on a hot summer day, on right before 4th of July, we had knuckleballs, toucans. I was super excited for this series. I finally had Will coming back for his first series of the year. I was just really, really excited to play this team. Um, I hadn't really gotten to play Sean that much. We start off that, I'm just dialing it in on the mound. Just, you know, like as usual, just not really too phased, just kind of like pumping the zone, uh, making people miss. And, just the usual stuff and then um, what I was really surprised about was how good Sean was pitching. I had never seen him pitch like that um, and we kind of got into the middle part of that game and I started to get like dang like it's like the fourth inning and not, this game is going nowhere like I'm still pitching really well but I mean Sean is not giving in and I started to get a little bit anxious a little bit worried about this game. It was just really frustrating because I feel like we just me and Will just kept going up to the plate and we just could not get any contact off of Sean's pitches. He was throwing some really nasty stuff. Um, it just keeps battling back and back and forth. And then nobody saw this, but in the, I believe it was the top of the seven, the top of the six, Sean hit a absolute nuke off of me that was just foul, which could have basically given them the game. So I come out there in the seventh inning, uh, I get a kind of a ball, can lift it over the head of whoever's playing second base. It was like Garrett or someone. Um, got the got the hit, got on base, and then our team just rallied Kyle with a really clutch hit, uh, which which I think I went like first to third or something. Then we had the bases loaded. And then I came up to the plate and I just kind of put the ball over Sean's head and we got the win. The three-two pitch from Sean. Caleb's gonna crush that one up the middle. That'll do it! That'll do it! I think challenging games bring out the best in us. Even though me and Will didn't like contribute that much to the game because we're not the pitcher, um, it felt great like to win that. It was a really great team win. Um, it's a really fun game. My arm was pretty tired after that, but honestly, like it was a great all-around team win. It showed our fight. It showed that even though we were playing a pretty good team who was playing their best with football, um, we could still we could still be victorious. And that was it's a really good uh, it's kind of statement win for us that we could still we we were beating really good teams in this league, and I was I was just really happy about that. You know, it was, it was, I think, a great way to get a sweep against a really good Toucans team that I thought is really underrated. Um, and I was just, I was looking forward. We had the Pioneers coming up, which was really going to be a tough series. So to be, uh, what was it, 5-1 and one at that point was really a big deal for us. And it was, we were, we were ready to go going into the Pioneer series.
All right, everyone, welcome on this um, fine morning to a great matchup between the Pioneers and Knuckleballs, the 2020 World Series rematch. Going to be a great game. Um, anything you got to say, Caleb? Yeah, I just want to say, um, unfortunately, Will Pecor and Andrew Howe cannot make it. Um, Vanessa Ng will be playing in place of Will Pecor for today. Um, and also, in future situations, she will also be the go-to sub for the Knuckleballs. Yeah, I think I think it was a great pick pickup for you. Um, Sanguina saying, I think it's a great pickup as a sub for the future. And um, yeah, let's go to the interviews. Let's go. These games were some of the most anticipated for my team specifically. I mean, we lost to them in the world, previous World Series. First time going against, I think, our biggest competition of the of the in the whole league since 2020. I was really just. This is this was the regular season series that we needed to take if we wanted to get the one seed going into the playoffs. Um, first game, absolute pitcher's duel. Me and Jake just battling it out. I think Jake had like a perfect game until the third inning, and Vanessa came up huge with those big hits. Um, it was really really great for our team, and Kyle got a great two run single. Uh, honestly, I, I did my thing on the mound, but these guys, my teammates, Kyle and Vanessa, in this game, I think really helped us get game one. That's a hit. Jake Kyle makes the play at first. That's three outs. Knuckleballs win game one of the series. Um, game two, we kind of let it get away from us. Um, um, I think I was walking a few guys, hung a few balls in there. Jake hit a grand slam. Just wasn't really our game. I kind of let Kyle go in there, pitch the rest of the game so I could save my arm for game three. Um, but I knew it was going to be a dogfight this series. It was going to come down to a rubber match in game three. Oh, swings misses. And that's the game. It goes to the Pioneers this time. Came back from the loss of the first game. They won this one 9-1. to one. Whoever didn't take this series, I thought, was going to get this one seed. So this is a really, really massive game. And we start the next game, um, and I finally get my knuck whiff bat. If you saw earlier, I didn't have that bat. And finally started hitting the ball, which I think was much needed. And it was a really good game. Um, all around, some good hitting, good pitching. Uh, but I think the really big moment in this game was when Vanessa got that massive home run off of Jake. Um, I think that just really showed how good of a player she is. And I, I really think that that's, it was just, it was really electric of a play. Yes! Crushes that over the fence. That's a dinger. And we, we won this series 2-1. And I knew right there that we had the one seed locked up, and this was this was really good for us. Just to win the series overall felt um, was a really important moment for us and our journey throughout the course of the season. I wasn't really expecting it to be that difficult to make it to the World Series. The Skyliners are a pretty good team, but I feel like that we really, if I, as long as I was pitching, uh, we were really going to play a good, um, some some good wiffle ball, and we were going to kind of. I, I thought it was going to be a pretty a breeze to make it to the World Series. We destroyed the Skyliners the first time we played them opening day, and we had kind of expected that again. I almost would dare say we underestimated them. So us as the four seed, just finishing up that Toucan series was really tough. Um, we knew that we were on a crunch for time in terms of how many days we had. So it was, I think, like a one or two day turnaround into the next series, which was also really tough. Um, the expectations going in, we were the four seed, they were the one seed. So I mean, biggest underdogs you can get, I guess, for the 14 bracket. show up to the field uh, you can just tell it's it's a little different atmosphere out here um, Gavin was was not what do you know he was he was not really talking that much he, he was there he was locked in he was ready to go we start we start off the game and he just strikes me out um, for my first at bat I'm pitching pretty well um, but really the big thing in here was how well Gavin was pitching he was not he was not um, 
heartbreaking. Like he just kept pounding the ball into the zone, painting the corners. Four balls, two strikes, kicks, deals, swing and a miss. Strike three on the outside corner. Oh my goodness. Gavin was just dealing. He, his pitches, they like hung in the air for a while and then they just fell right down to the strike zone. And it was really hard to hit off of it. Luckily I was able to kind of keep the Skyliners in check. Um, but all that kind of changed when we got into like fourth or fifth inning. And pitch. He's gonna yeah. crank that one into center. That's gonna be a single for Ben. Zero balls, two strikes, the pitch. Riser, that one's gonna be fair. Ben Nutter thinks about going three, he's gonna stay. And it's gonna be first and second with only one guy out for Max Lent. Max, he hits a ground ball to Andrew right down the line, and we really need to get this out. I kind of race over there, he flips it to me, and it's like a bang, bang play. We don't know who has it. Hitters count to Max Lent. He's gonna ground that one on the third base side, and he's safe. We go to the review, and it turns out we got him by half a step. It was a really massive play for us. Luckily, I was able to strike out the next few guys and to get us out of the inning, but I really was proud of our team for not letting, not giving in to the uh, pressure from the Skyliners there. Kyle gets up to the plate, one runner on, two outs. Kyle's gonna crush that one. It's gone! A two-run walk-off bomb for Kyle Jacoby. Blend the game. Knuckleballs win game one in incredible walk-off fashion. Just being able to hit that home run and like barely, I remember barely went over the um, the monster. <laughs> it was so close. Like if the monster was just a little bit shifted, it probably wouldn't have gone over. So yeah, we were just feeling great afterwards. Going into game two, usually we are able to continue um, on with our level of play while the other team wouldn't. So. Yeah, we were, we were ready to go for the second game. Got a pretty easy win. Gavin gave everything. Shout out to him. He gave, he, he put all, shot all of his bullets that he could. And we cruised on to the World Series. Drop ball, he goes swinging. And the knuckleballs will go to the World Series and they will face off against the Pioneers. Last year they couldn't get it done, lost in four, but this team looks really good. Hello everyone and welcome to the World Series. We got a great matchup here, um, Knuckleballs Pioneers, exactly like it was last year. Yeah, you know, it's been a long road, personally, just with scheduling this game. I'm um, personally super excited that we finally got all the guys to the field. Um, you know, I, uh, losing this is unacceptable this year. Uh, I'll be, you know, doing everything I can to make sure that does not happen again. And yeah, I'm just super excited to play. You know, Pioneers Knuckleballs, like it was last year, Made me pretty anxious. I knew this was not going to be an easy series to win um, because of how it's kind of a bitter, bitter rivalry out here, and no team was really wanting to, really willing to give in to losing this World Series. So I was, I was kind of ready to go for this. Welcome to the first game of the 2021 NWL World Series. Pioneers and Knuckleballs. Here we go. I mean, to start off this game, I mean, it was just electric. Um, tensions were really high. Drop. Caleb and I both locking in on the mound, really. I mean, the movement that we were getting was insane. Um, we just bang, bang, bang. Third screwball in their strike three. It was just kind of a pitcher's duel. We, we were fighting and, and we kept going kind of throughout all these innings. We get to, what, the sixth inning. Um, and I'm still pitching really well and I throw one pitch, just kind of a straight ball. Slider is crushed, and it's gone. John breaks the game open, solo home run. And he just parks it right over the fence. And really, I knew we probably weren't gonna get any runs just because of how well uh, both of us were pitching. And Jake, the margin for error was just was just really small. And unfortunately, I happened to make one mistake with the pitch. And no swinging on a, and a would-be ball. Pioneers win this game. Leading 1-0 in the World Series.
we lose game one and I was really, it was really hard for me. Um, I did not want to have to come back in a series like this. That's really hard to win every single game. I, I was so like, I was depressed. I was like, shoot, we were down 1-0. This is so bad. Um, and I, it was just, I was, I was not in a good spot. Um, I woke up the next day um, with so much motivation. Like I, I, I was so ready to, to play these games and I, I knew this was not over. All right, everyone, um, welcome back to game two of the World Series. Um, my team, the Pioneers, took game one. Um, it's gonna be a great game two, and we're home. Um, anything you gotta say, Caleb? Yeah, we're definitely not done yet, but we're looking to come back and hopefully take this game two. Okay, welcome back to game two of the 2021 World Series. Jake starting on the mound for the Pioneers. So game two, um, start off a great start for us. We get two right on the board right there. Um, I'm really happy about that. Kind of started to put the pedal to the metal uh, pretty quickly here. And, and then we go to the next inning and John hits a ground roll double and Jake gets a single and all of a sudden, boom, like that, our lead is gone. And big screwball crushes it and ground roll double, ground roll double. Let's go. Oh, that's fair ball. John comes in to score. We can't get any runs on the board. Jake comes out, hits another home run, and we're down 4-2. Finally, we're down to our last ups. Um, on the brink of going down 2-0 in this series, which was, I knew it was nearly impossible. So this was, the series was on the line. We had three outs to work with. We, need, we needed to get some runs. Starts out, Kyle grounds out. Um, and then I think we will get to walk. We start getting something going. I hit a ground ball and, and Jake throws it to Colin. Colin drops the ball, which is huge for us uh, because it kept our momentum going, kept it alive. Uh, and then we get we get another walk, we get the bases loaded. We have the bases loaded with I think like one or two outs. And I come up to the plate. Uh, I think Will walks up, walks in a run right before that. And then I come up to the plate with um, four to three game. Base is loaded, uh, looking for something to hit. And grounds on foul. Well, the winning run comes in. Kyle comes in. Caleb advances the second, advances the third. And he's saved. Big play. Three run score. Great triple by Caleb. Bad throw by John. It was like a single with two errors. Just like that, we're up six to four, and it's it could not feel better. I was so hyped, uh, yelling, screaming, like that was. I feel like that was the point where the series kind of turned. Uh, just kind of like how Colin when he hit that ball, that was uh, that uh, that was the play for us that really turned the series around. And goes strike three on a would-be ball. Game is over. 7-4, final score. Knuckleball's even it out here. Boom, just like that, it's a tie series. Anyone series, we're ready to go out here. We're ready, we're ready to win. I mean, just before we even start this game, um, just the fact that, just knowing the fact that if we end this game on top, that we will win the World Series was just, it's a really weird position. I'd never really been in this position before, and I knew we kind of had to take care of business here if we, if we wanted to be World Series champions. All right, everyone, Knuckleballs are winning the Series 2-1 here. We got Game 4. Um, Knuckleball sneak one to win. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say Kyle had to leave early. He really played an amazing role in games one, two, and even part of game three. And, you know, I'm just super excited to play this game, and hopefully we can take it in this, in this game. Okay, game four. Must win game for the Pioneers here. We start off the game. Um, we get a runner on. I come up to the, or we get two runners on. Come up to the plate. Um, find a pitch that I like and just drive that ball out of the park. We're up three nothing. Super hype. Ranks one, and that's gone. 3-0 lead. 
and it didn't stop there. Um, I came up next at bat, and Jake just throws the fattest pitch he's, he's ever thrown to me. Uh, he probably will never make the same mistake again. And Caleb cranks another one. Five zero. But then our offense just kind of gets hits a brick wall. Um, Jake's not really giving up any runs. We can't hit. Um, we can't drive anyone in. And Caleb pops it up, and out of the inning. Um, couldn't get anything going in that last inning, but I still felt with that 5-2 lead that we really were going to win this game right here. And then, it's a battle. I'm facing off against Colin, um, and it was a four, it was a long count, many pitches thrown, and he draws the walk on a full count. Let's go! Let's go! Pioneers just instantly just get life. And I'm like, what is the heck is going on here? Like, why are they getting so hyped? They started getting into my head. And that one is gone. John puts the Pioneers within one run of tying or winning this game. And then boom. All of a sudden, this game is not over. It's 5-4, and I was kind of still in a daze about that home run. Oh, Jake, clobbers one, ties it up. Two straight home runs by the Pioneers to tie this game up. He hits it over the fence, and it's 5-5. I was, I was crushed right there. I, I, I wanted to, I was literally like, dude, I'm quitting wiffle ball. So, like, we were so close to ending it right there. We were so close to, to changing the narrative, not being the team that always loses in the World Series. Because if we lost this, it would have been the Pioneers had won two. And, and I'm like, no, this, this can't be happening right now. My arm is so gassed. I expected to win. I expected to win the whole thing. Um, and I wasn't going to settle for anything less. We have to win next year. We need a win or bust, and there was no in-betweens. And it's gone! And that one is gone! Oh, Jake! Clobbers one! Ties it up! Two straight home runs by the Pioneers to tie this game up. It would just mean so much more to beat the Pioneers after losing to them the previous year. And so I really dig deep, and all of a sudden my pitches just start having movement on them. I just get three straight strikeouts, like three or four pitches each at bat. And goes swinging, going. The extra innings here, all tied up. Fourth inning, uh, can't get any runs, um, but luckily I mow them down in the bottom of the fourth. Uh, we keep this, uh, keep this game tied at five. Uh, and then I come up to the plate in the fifth inning, Kind of get jammed on one, but I put I put the ball into the center field, get a base hit, which is really huge for us. Um, and then Jake throws an absolute great pitch um, to get Vanessa out. But I just felt as though like there was something going here. There was really something going here. Will draws a walk, and I step up to the plate with one out in the fifth, two runners on, um, ready ready to ready to make a play. Get on, ball. Oh, 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 oh. finally pull through like we're not we were fighting right to the end for this one I was just ready to go we get one more run I throw two strikeouts one to Colin um, one to John and then two outs Jake steps over the plate and I'm like okay just don't do anything stupid here and I throw the ball and he just he, he slaps it into center field gets a base hit right here, right here. I think that hit shows that this rivalry 
will still continue, that no one really will truly give in to the other team, and that this 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 will not end. But Colin walks up to the plate, um, two outs, runner on first, and he's been chasing the high ball all day. I kind of gave him my wind up, and just kind of throw it. It's kind of a high pitch. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. We just won this thing. I look over, look over at Will, who's just like got his arms out like this, and I'm like, Let's go, Will. Yeah, we won the World Series, baby. It was, it was really a great moment for us. A uh, great moment for me. I'll never forget that for the rest of my life. Um, the amount of fight that we went through. That was. I'm never gonna forget that the, the, that day um, where we truly proved. Um, the resilience that we have and we did what it takes to get our revenge on the, the pioneers but even though the knuckleballs did get revenge on us i i still believe that this is going to be a heavily contested rivalry i i don't think this story is really over i think it's i think that we are going to cross paths again whether caleb and i like it or not and i think there will be a round three maybe not this year but at some point down the line i believe it's it's not over though. It's not over. Man, it was two years, two pretty two years of ups, downs, highs, lows, you know, the usual stuff. Um, but there was nothing, I mean nothing, that I knew was gonna stop us from getting that sweet revenge. And that's all that's all I gotta say. All right, Kyle, man, you weren't there to win it, but um, you played an integral part in winning this World Series, so I want you to be able to hold the trophy for yourself. And it's good to you. finally see this. Yeah, thanks for everything you did this year, and next year we're going to try to get you there.